Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Tweak here, back again with another video. Uh, lads, I'd like to apologize. There's been a bit of a gap in the old videos. Uh, my fault. Haven't really been doing so well recently, but I'm feeling a bit better now. And uh, I'm hopefully going to get the videos back on track again. And the wipe is just around the corner, so there's going to be tons of content to uh, make as soon as the wipe comes. With uh, The update always brings new content and stuff. So, in today's video, we're going to be going over the MP5. Uh, a lot of people have requested this. I wasn't entirely sure what to do with some of the builds, but I made them anyway. And I'm going to show them to you guys. And there's a little hidden one at the end that I'll show you guys too. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, as soon as my game capture would click. Can we go? Game capture. Hello. Come on. Chop, chop. There we go. All right. So here we have the Worth MP5 Numero Uno. Uh, so this MP5 right here is uh it's fairly simple in that uh well it's basically just uh it's just an mp5 with a uh a little rail on top of it with the pk06 um you can get this at level two peacekeeper and you need the uh mfi hk universal low profile scope mount and you just slap a pk06 on there or whatever mount that you want and that's pretty much it um this gun as soon as you get level two peacekeeper you can use this in the early game so much. You can get away with so much stuff with this gun. Um, PvPing against people without visors. It's got laser beam accuracy. The rounds are good for early. Um, even leg meting people if you really feel the need to. Now, the one thing that these guns kind of fail at doing is killing like scab bosses where there's multiple bosses. So, i.e. anybody other than Killa. Or if you can isolate Sturman and his scav gang or whatever, you can kill them with this gun then. With Killa, you shoot him in the legs, he'll die pretty easily, 30 rounds, uh, no problems. With Rishala and his boys, if they have Altons and stuff like that, and you can somehow isolate them one by one, you can leg meta them to death. Um, but honestly, if you were going woods, I wouldn't really recommend this gun. And uh, yeah, for customs, if you're avoiding the scab bosses, you're just doing your quests. This is a very, very, very good gun. And the stats on it. 40 vertical 187 horizontal it it doesn't even feel like that much at all um but yeah in order to build this gun it is only going to cost you 24k it is very 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 cheap so what we're gonna do i'm gonna bring this into factory and i'm gonna give you a very quick look at how it runs we're only gonna do a little close range test because uh honestly it doesn't really need a long range test it's a close range gun so we'll just do a little short range I didn't click offline for this, did I? All right, one second. <clears throat> All righty. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick look at how this gun performs. Sorry, I think I hit offline, but I forgot to turn on bots. And we need some target practice. So the MP5 is one of my... It, well, it used to be my favorite early game gun. What I would do is... Because you used to be able to get this gun from level 1 Peacekeeper... And now they've made it so that the uh, little MP5 without the stock and all that kind of stuff is at level 1 instead. Uh, it's obviously not as good. Um, so yeah, I just wait until I'm level 2 Peacekeeper and then I run these. I don't know where the scabs are. Come out, will you? So yeah, again... I know I have 51 recoil control and all that, but still, I, trust me, the gun is an absolute laser anyway. Um, just like all the other SMGs in Tarkov, pretty much. So, as you can see, I'm just going to aim at the door there, as we usually do. Similar to everything else, you just, ta you just, you just pull down. You just pull down a little bit. That's all you got to do. So, you might be wondering, hey, Tweak, so... This gun has no recoil. Why is there three different builds for it? Well, Jimmy, let me tell you. Because this gun has been so widely requested by my Twitch chat, and I've seen it in the YouTube comments and stuff, I am just absolutely obliged to bring you the next two builds after this, uh, which just get progressively dumber and dumber. So if you have the money and you want to meme around with this thing, this next build might just be for you, or the next two builds might be for you. But uh, would I necessarily recommend them? Uh, I mean... Sure, why not? If you want to have some fun before the wipe comes, try these guns out. But uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the next one I came up with. And here we have the Worth MP5 number two. <laughs> so this gun, 28 vertical recoil, 129 horizontal recoil. We stuck a little monster scope on there. 
We now have the B and T uh, rail mount for the MP5. We also put on the uh, the little uh, Novesque style muzzle brake and compensator. Um, we're sticking with the thirty rounders though. We're not going too crazy yet. We got the we got the RK one on there for the extra ergo and recoil reduction, you know. And then we stuck the old HK A3 stock on there too. Um, and then we have the uh, what's it called the HX5, yeah, the handguard. Um, which is actually pretty cool. I kind of like that the laser combination goes up here, which is pretty sweet. We've got an X400 on there, as per usual. But uh, as far as optics go, as far as attachments go, you can use whichever one you want. It is totally up to you, uh, depending on what your personal preference is. Um, but yeah, stats of this thing, pretty good. This thing is an utter laser beam, same as the last one. Um, and to build this bad boy, if you want to meme around with it yourself... You are going to be looking in around the price range of, uh, I don't know why I did that. Around the price range of 103k. So give or take, you know, plus or minus 5k. Um, yeah, you're looking at 100, 100k. Yeah, it's, it's pretty expensive for an SMG, right? <laughs> but you asked for it. I needed to find a gun that was, you know, cheap, mid-range, and this isn't even the expensive one. Um, so yeah, there you go. There is the worst MP5 number two. It's actually pretty cool. It's a nice little gun. Laser beam. Got a nice little 2x on there. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go bring it into factory and I'll show you guys how it performs. And also, lads, I'm just gonna throw this in here now. Uh, for this entire month, uh, we're raising money for St. Jude. You can see the banner up top, which I forgot to remove before the video started. But, as you can see from that banner, we've raised about seven and a half thousand dollars for St. Jude, which is awesome. Uh, so if you guys would like to donate to St. Jude, there will be a Tiltify link in the description of this video. And uh, you can support the charity there. It's an awesome charity. They provide uh, basically free healthcare for kids with, you know, terrible diseases that unfortunately kids sometimes get, uh, but shouldn't. Nobody should. And they also provide free travel, uh, food, accommodation for the families. Um, so they don't have to worry about, you know, paying for their kids' treatments or spending time with them and stuff like that. So, it's a pretty awesome cause. Uh, and yeah, if you guys want to donate, the link's in the description. So, here we are again with the little Monstrum. I personally don't really like this optic, but chat was helping me build this gun earlier, and they decided that the Monstrum was the one that they wanted to see on the gun. So, we went with it. So, there she is. We're going to do the standard door test. Going to aim down there. And again, just pull down a little bit, and then just let the gun do the rest. It has a little bit of left variation. You can pull it to the right if you want, but... Honestly, your shots are more or less going to go pretty much exactly where you're aiming anyway. So it's not really that big of a deal. Um, this gun, like, it's a lot of fun to run this gun. If, like, right now, it's not really going to be too great to run because of all the people with visors and Altons and killer helmets and uh, sires and all that kind of stuff. But once you get the wipe coming around... Uh, the MP5 is honestly one of my favorite guns to run early game. It's way better than the AKU in terms of accuracy and uh, RPM and damage output as well, uh, depending on what ammo you're running. And the rounds are super cheap for it. Like, the PSOs are really good. Um, if you really want to destroy somebody's legs running Luger CCIs or running RIP rounds are the play. Uh, the Tracers are pretty high flesh damage, but I've never really used them before. So if you want to run another uh, semi-high flesh damage round, you can run the Tracers. Uh, I usually just recommend PSOs or Luger CCIs uh, because you would be unbelievably surprised at how quickly people die when you're using Luger CCIs. But for the early game, uh, PSOs and PSTs, absolutely fine. Uh, anything else, you know, is probably just going to be a little bit of a waste of money. I would suggest holding on to that ammo until it's worth a bit more in the flea market or something. Um, but yeah, there it is. So you can get your hands on this pretty little MP5 for about 103k. Now let's go to the next ridiculous build where the price gets absolutely stupid and there is probably no reason in the world why you should ever run this next gun I'm about to show you. All the more, at the end of the video, I will show you exactly why you definitely shouldn't run this gun that I'm about to show you. And here we have it. The MP5 worth numero three. So on here, you'll notice a couple of things might have changed. We've got an Osprey suppressor on there. We've got a hammer scope with a delta point put in there. We also have the X400 as per usual. This time we've got a 50 round mag. Um, you know, with the, the B25U, with the, you know, the RK1, the, the, the canted sight, so we can pretend our little 50 round MP5 is actually an LMG. Um, this gun is absurdly overpriced. The stats on it are, you know, 33 recoil, 153 horizontal recoil. I don't even know if it's as good as the last one I showed you guys, but 
as far as a tier 3 mp5 build goes uh this is the one that i actually made a video on way back uh my favorite mp5 build and i used to run this thing quite a lot because uh honestly it was just fun um and you just sit on the roof of shoreline you'd spray people down from miles away compensating for the bullet drop and they have no idea where they're getting shot from because the gun is so quiet um but it does definitely hit decently uh from a distance but yeah this is uh this is the i can't even like call it worth uh to be honest this is the worth mp5 number three um <laughs> i never said this was a good idea but uh all in all you're looking at uh you're looking at 178k for for this uh for this mp5 build um what have i done uh lads i want to apologize for anybody you know that happens to run into this gun a lot or the last variation i showed you guys um my fault i'll take the blame for it bunch of people running around with mp5s uh, but yeah there you go you're looking at about 180k for this thing so we're gonna take it to factory and uh, i'll show you guys how it performs and here we are in the factory yet again with our little hammered up mp5 <laughs> so in all seriousness uh this gun does have uses good in cqb maps uh, one thing I will say about MP, like the MP5 in general and the ammos and stuff, I would honestly probably not recommend running AP 6.3s. If you have had good experiences with AP 6.3s 6, 6 yourself, then go for it. Go for it. You know, if you want to use them, absolutely, by all means, use them. Uh, for me, I've had terrible experiences with that round. I just find they're very inconsistent and just don't really uh, don't really work all that well for me, for whatever reason. Um, I've always had much more luck with uh, Luger CCIs and rip rounds as well, and just going for leg meta when I'm trying to mess around and just run submachine guns, you know. Uh, so yeah, here it is, the Worth MP5 number three. A lot of you guys probably haven't seen this build for me because that video I put out was very old. You can even look it up after this if you want. But uh, yeah, as you can see. Very little recoil. All you got to do is do the standard pull down. Same as pretty much every other gun in this game. If they ever actually add recoil patterns to Tarkov somehow, considering all the variations and how you can build your guns and stuff, I'd be very surprised. Um, so yeah, it's an utter laser beam. And you just, you know, you throw your laser on, you run around, you point fire everybody close range in the face, or, you know, you come running around a corner if you know somebody's there and you just, wah, you know, straight into their feet. Every bullet right into their feet. Uh, not that I am app like not that I'm condoning leg meta or anything like that, but uh Yeah, because I definitely don't. I don't really like leg meta in this game. It's kind of annoying. And I've noticed a lot of people doing it recently. And people are doing it with good ammo. Like, why are you leg metaing people with good ammo? Why are you doing that with Eagle Nick or BS or M995? Like, why aren't you shooting somebody in the face? It's kind of the point of that ammo, is that it goes through everything, you know? Um, but I get it, you know, immobilizing your target and all that. Um, so yeah, there you go. The most needlessly expensive MP5 you'll ever build. There's no reason for this gun. The other ones perform pretty much about the exact same. Um, I wouldn't have made this video if it wasn't basically demanded. Um, and I have another video coming, coming up next on the MPX, which is uh, equally as silly, but it's also uh, still quite a fun gun to run. It looks really cool. Um, so yeah, expect that video potentially after this one. Next in the series is, is going to be the MPX. Um, so yeah, that's about all I got for you guys. I am going to quickly back out of this raid, though, because there's one thing I want to show you guys before I leave. All right, and here we are back in the stash again. Now, you might be wondering, what is this MP5 worth number four? Well, I'll show you on this MP5, you're looking at 40 recoil and 187. On this one, you're looking at 28 and 129. This one, you're looking at 33 and 153 because I put a suppressor on it instead because it's more fun. This one, you're looking at 26 and 122. So it turns out the MP5 SD with no grip or anything, uh, is actually better than all of these guns right here. So what would my recommendation be? Uh, spend $500 on an MP5 SD, put whatever optic on, on it that you want and have fun. Um, and don't be silly like me and mod MP5s like this because it's absolutely pointless and you're just wasting money. Unless you're just looking to be a meme lord, um, I would recommend building the MP5 SD instead. All you got to do is get the, uh, whatever this thing is called, the uh, MP5 SD trial rail ring mount, put your laser on it, and then you get the uh, B&T uh, 3X rail mount for the MP5. Put whatever optic on it you want. You can even put the low profile uh, thing on uh, that's on this, the, um, the MFI UK universal low profile scope mount. You can even put that on the SD as well, uh, if you so choose. And all you got to do is you just 
slap that on there and you're good to go. Uh, so lads, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, hit the sub button, leave a comment down below and let me know what gun you want to see next. Aside from the MPX, because that video is coming next. Um, and yeah, if you guys want to support St. Jude, please make sure to click the link down in the description. It'll be a Tiltify link. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to catch me live doing stuff like this on Twitch, pretty much every day, go to twitch.tv slash tweak. Link will be in the description. Follow me on Twitter to stay updated. Join my Discord. And uh, yeah, if you're feeling cheeky, follow me on the old uh, Instagram. So lads, without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, my dudes.